Uh, go ahead, Jamie. Hi, Luchi. <clears throat> nice to see you. Nice to, to meet you the other day and get a chance to sit down and talk with you. Um, we talked after the, the Red Bulls preseason game about some unique challenges that the Red Bulls, you know, posed for you and, uh, you know, the way that you, you, uh, you want to impose your style of play. When you look ahead to Atlanta United, what do you see in this kind of revamped Atlanta United team and what types of challenges do you think you'll need to overcome against them? Thank you. Yeah, look, the preseason objective was to have different experiences against different styles of play and be challenged, you know. Um, and we had even had a previous conversation that it's important that we learn lessons in the preseason so that we're better prepared for the regular season. So all the games we played in the preseason, I think, gave us different challenges What, despite the result. And it just allows us to be better prepared now for this moment going into the opening of the season. So with Atlanta... It's uh, definitely a team that has individual talent. Uh, Amada, Araujo, um, and, and those are players that can change the game in any moment, no matter style of play, no matter the momentum of the game. And we definitely will recognize that and, and prepare for that. But as a team, as a collective, you know, um, Gonzalo's prepared this team to, to build, to have interesting vertical combinations between lines and and commit numbers forward into the attack, and, and we need to uh, be ready for that. Uh, in addition to an environment that is uh, in the opening game of the season for them, their fans are going to be excited for a new season, same as ours. So that, that'll be a challenge in itself, but something that we've been talking about and, and embracing uh, in our preparations. Uh, we want to build a road warrior mentality in preseason. I felt we accomplished a lot of those objectives and building the brotherhood with the group in terms of our team values and culture, and then our our playing identity and our playing style. So this first challenge will be will be uh, a big one. Um, but I see the group ready. I'm excited. Uh, they are. They showed it. Uh, they showed it here in these last few days of training and their preparation. And um, we're excited to get that there to Atlanta and and uh, and show a beginning of 2023 and, and what we're capable of doing. Thank you, Luigi. Uh, next up, Ted Remy. Yeah, Coach, just curious if there are signs of readiness that you've looked for in the team versus your past experience with Dallas and also the national team because you know the date looms out there for a long time. You get the schedule, but, you know, it's not the same as getting ready for a game in the middle of August. It's, you know, it's February. Yeah, look, preseason is, is has, like I said, the objectives of getting – challenges against different teams style of play we intentionally decided to play five mls games so that we can get the actual competition that we're going to face in the league um but look i, I don't think a preseason really uh, should be very indicative of of what a regular season is going to look like this is a very challenging league it's a long season uh we know the obvious things with travel and, and the weather conditions throughout the year and and all those things and you know a preseason is get you where you need to in opening day, but definitely is not an indication of, of a regular season. If I recall, I think Red Bull maybe, I don't know if they won a preseason game in 2021, but they were flying in their opener, you know? And so that, I think it's about the given day and the given night. And it's important that we keep taking it one day at a time, one moment at a time, and that we're present on game day um, and that we can uh, bring our best uh, on, that, on that given night against Atlanta. Thank you. Uh, this question comes from Alex Morgan from Quick Step Center. Uh, he asks on his uh, on your first impressions from Jonathan Mensa and whether you think he will be able to play on Saturday. Yeah. Look, obviously, we, we brought in Jonathan as a uh, as a swift um, you know uh, solution because of the injury with with Nathan, and that's very clear and um, and obvious. But at the same time. You know, we're excited to have a player like Jonathan, uh, an experienced MLS veteran, a champion in the league, uh, a player that has experience with, at the international level with Ghana, a really good human being that represents, uh, you know, not just being a fighter on the field and a leader on the field, but off the field, a great role model for our team and our club and our community. So it's been, he's been a great addition. In a short amount of time, he's integrated quickly. The boys have really uh, taken a... Uh, 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 opening to him and, and welcomed him and integrated him. So um, obviously it's, he hasn't been with us very long in the preseason, but 
but he's showing signs of, uh, of readiness, and there's no final decisions until the game, but uh, he will be a player that, that will be available for us uh, to compete against Atlanta. Thank you. Let's do one more question in English. Um, so let's go back to Jamin Moore. Hey, Lucci, in terms of like the overall squad, you know, health, readiness, obviously Mensa is one player, but, uh, you know, other players have taken, you know, knocks in preseason or working their way back from injury and into fitness. You know, you know, where do you think you are in terms of, you know, overall fitness of the uh, 11 that you would like to start the season with? And, you know, what might we, you know, need to maybe wait a couple more, more games to be able to see? Thank you. Yeah, it's been, it's, we've certainly already have hit challenges and faced adversity in the preseason with injuries. Uh, I mentioned Nathan. We had uh, players earlier in the preseason that picked up knocks. We've got a few guys that recently picked up knocks and that uh, certainly we don't want to be missing anybody. We want our full depth, our full competition, but it's just normal. It's normal. And I'm, I'm actually glad that it happened early in preseason for us to embrace and, and turn the, these adversities into opportunities for our guys to step it up and to show our, our depth and, and that we have a complete roster. We have a group uh, that, can, that can raise the level and the standard and, and get the job done for the team at any given moment. So, you know, that's, that's normal for any team and, and no different for what we're going through than probably most teams. But I feel good about where we are um, and to, to, to start the game against Atlanta and, and compete to, and show uh, our, next, uh, our next step in, uh, in terms of the roster right now. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the Spanish portion. Esta pregunta viene de Maxi Cordado de Telemundo 48. Eh, le pregunta, profe, uh, sus sensaciones de la pretemporada. Y la segunda pregunta, eh, en sus opiniones del partido contra Atlanta y si el equipo ya está al 100%. Sí, para Atlanta, con mucha eh, anticipación y y una, un ambiente con mucho fanatismo y seguro el primer partido de ellos quieren tener otra temporada eh, con, con resultados que, que, que es esperado ¿no? en la liga, en cada equipo en día uno de, 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 del, del MLS. Tenemos ese, ese obstáculo con, con el ambiente, tenemos el obstáculo del talento que tiene el club Atlanta, muy buenos jugadores individuales, un buen profe que juega un fútbol de progresión y atacar y tenemos que estar muy listos y muy preparados y no va a ser fácil, va a ser muy muy difícil, eh, pero sabemos que tenemos el grupo nosotros que hemos trabajado fuerte en la pretemporada para, para buscar la manera de, de sacar un resultado y vamos a pelearla y vamos a creer en nosotros mismos para hacerlo. El grupo ahora nosotros, después de la experiencia en, en el MLS, tuvimos unas lesiones ¿no? y todavía nos falta recuperar un par, unos jugadores importantes, pero Creo que todos los equipos han, tienen ese mismo obstáculo con, con no tener todos los jugadores disponibles 100% del tiempo. O sé sea que nosotros no somos diferentes, pero en este momento veo el equipo muy positivo y muy listo para enfrentar a Atlanta para partido número uno. Eh, 